Wow, morning YouTube. Okay, the day of reckoning. We're taking the uh, rooftop tent up to a uh, campsite in the Chilterns. Okay, YouTube, so that's pretty much the three applications of it. You know, you could uh, fix it to the roof of your truck, you could uh, put it on the ground, or you could uh, mount it on a trailer. I think to permanently fix it anywhere is probably a mistake. You know, what you're doing is you're designing out the flexibility of this thing. You know, if the wind really, really picks up, if we've got a hurricane, then obviously the thing to do is just slide it off the roof, put it on the ground, use your uh, truck or trailer as a uh, windbreak, jump in and go to sleep, you know. So um, it really isn't um, difficult to just close the box, slide it off the roof and put it on the ground. It, it really is a five minute job. And then of course you just uh, open it up again. So I've upgraded the mattress. I've got uh, three inches of uh, furniture upholstery foam. So quite a solid uh, structured foam. Then I've got a three inch um, memory foam uh, topper on top of that. So I've got a six inch by 72 inch by 24 inch mattress. Uh, this is as comfortable as I'm ever going to be in the outdoors. Okay, so uh, here we are at the Chilterns testing out the uh, flip up rooftop tent. And um, I'm a bit disappointed is perhaps the wrong term because of course I've turned up and there's like nothing to do really five minutes I put the tent up I've taken a few bits out of the trailer and put them in the back of the truck and uh, that's it you know so um, I guess it's time to uh, have a bit of lunch uh, still got a flask of tea from when I left home so uh, don't have to uh, put the kettle on I'll be boiling up some water later so I can take this up into the uh, rooftop tent with me overnight so uh, obviously I'll be able to have a brew you know if I get a bit uh, restless and of course uh, with the uh, 10 LED light in there I'll be able to have a read you know it's uh, it's a million miles away from um, uh, the sort of making it up as you go along roughing it you know type setup that I've uh, become accustomed to in the past so that's um, uh, quite odd in itself you know but uh, um, but yeah it's uh, the tent tent went up no problems at all it's just started raining you know so uh, um, you know we're gonna get the test that we wanted that's for sure Right, I've reached into my, uh, I've got my uh, bug out bag in the back and my go bag. I've got uh, boxes of uh, this three months food in the trailer, you know, so um, the 9 by 9s in there, the uh, Scorpion RV tents in there, the table and chairs, the wood burning stove, uh, generator, you know, everything is, uh, uh, is here. And uh, I don't find myself needing any of it. <laughs> So that's quite uh, quite funny. Uh, Old Faithful, this is what I'm going to have for uh, lunch. Uh, really uh, 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 sardines in tomato sauce, really high in protein, uh, rocket fuel for humans. And uh, if you didn't even have a spoon, mate, you could eat it with your fingers. Or failing that, use the lid as a spoon. But hey, see as though we're being civilised, let's use a spoon. 
they're as uh, good for you uh, cold as they are hot just something to get down your neck comes in its own beautiful little tin a couple of these in your pocket mate and you're fixed mm. a tin of these with a nice cup of tea you haven't got a problem in the world mate and of course for afters a little bit of clacky but um, yeah that's lunch so um, like I say this rooftop tent tent business is leaving me a bit of uh, a bit of a lost end because of course uh, I guess the thing to do now is to go and have adventures <laughs> I think I might uh, um, might have a walk down the pub in the dark across the fields that'll be quite uh, quite good fun tonight a pint of uh, relay in a country pub that sounds uh, that sounds peachy and obviously when we get back we'll know whether the tent's waterproof or not <laughs> see you in a bit YouTube Let's go for a little walk YouTube. This is the beautiful Chilterns. Somewhere down here there's a town. Let's see if we can find it. This looks like it might lead somewhere. <laughs> okay everybody we're in the uh, quintessentially English little town of uh, Ivanhoe and uh, it's got the Rose and Crown pub and uh, we're sort of walking around a one-way system in the town so like all one-way systems, they normally lead somewhere. So, uh, let's see where we end up. Just what the doctor ordered. This is something we've never done before. Cheers everybody. Doesn't get any better than that. The walk back to the campsite now after a couple of uh, pints of beer and uh, that beautiful warm fire. I can still feel it on my face. This is something I'm unaccustomed to. Normally I'm out there roughing it in the freezing cold. <laughs> it doesn't take long to get out of the town. Back on the beautiful Chilterns. Even if you have got a couple of pints of beer inside here. <laughs> nice little stroll in the countryside. Beautiful spring day. Uh, you have to forgive me about the rain. Uh, the weather forecast says there's a uh, um, front coming through. It's supposed to be here sort of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but uh, it was threatening this morning, but it seems to have uh, brightened up a bit. So uh, I don't reckon we're going to have any rain for the next few hours. So uh, we'll have to see overnight, see how the rooftop tent holds up. I spy with my little eye something beginning with, I think that just might be, the rooftop tent.
Wow. Well, we're in. Wind's starting to pick up. The old uh, wind turbine is uh, spinning around a treat. Mattress is just uh, brilliant. I've uh, got my four season sleeping bag, so I'm not going to be uh, cold by any stretch of the imagination. The old solar light is working uh, top notch. One on the outside's okay. Uh, just got to be a bit careful getting in and out. Um, it's not the uh, biggest thing in the world, but once you're in, uh, you're pretty, uh, pretty peachy. And uh, just a matter of uh, zipping it shut now. And, uh, oh, man, I'm half asleep already. <laughs> okay, everybody, here's the raid. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to find out how waterproof this baby is by the morning. <laughs> I need to get my flask, uh, sort myself out a warm drink, get some chocolate, yeah, need some chocolate, and uh, I need to go to the loo. So let's see if I can get out of my rooftop tent without breaking my neck. <laughs> well, that was uh, pretty straightforward, I have to say. Uh, got me chocolate and a um, uh, flask of tea. Even managed to uh, grab a drop of the uh, medicinal out of the uh, top of my burden. Awful lot of drinking going on in this one, isn't there? Oh, that smells beautiful. Well, for the second time in one video, cheers. Lush. 21.41 now, so um, this uh, little medicinal brew should uh, see me very nicely off to sleep. If I get the munchies, I've got some chocolate there. Uh, failing that, uh, let's all meet up for breakfast. Cheers, YouTube. Hey, morning. It's uh, 12 minutes to 6. It's been raining on and off all night, you can probably still hear it, and uh, no obvious leaks in the tent, so that was a, uh, that was a nice little touch. Uh, the wind turbine has uh, generated some electricity for us overnight, and that's gone into the power trolley, so um, plenty of mains electricity uh, first thing in the morning for breakfast or you know anything you might want to use that for. Kind of mistakes on my part, I think. Um, if you're gonna have a rooftop tent, you definitely need to have a pee bottle. <laughs> uh, because uh, getting up and getting down the ladder and off the roof in the dark and the rain, you know, it can be a um, disaster waiting to happen sort of thing. So that's something to be avoided. Um, could have done with a, a hat. Uh, not that it was uh, cold, really. Um, the temperature went down to about, uh, about 10 centigrade, so uh, uh, times 2 plus 30, so sort of 50 Fahrenheit, which uh, was not particularly cold. Um, sun's just about uh, sort of breaking through. I uh, did have the door open for a while. It started to rain again. <sighs> Stuff just zipped it shut. But uh, gonna get up. Oh, get into a daily routine. Put a bit of breakfast on and uh, crack on with the day. So uh, the flip-up rooftop tent does not leak, everybody. <laughs> and uh, no one's more surprised than myself. 
Well, it's not a bad view to wake up to, is it? Okay. Time to get up and seize the day. Wind turbine's got this little LED on it. it tells you how much electricity it's generating. It's going up between 7 and 10 volts. So how bad's that? Okay. Uh, it's official. The rooftop tent doesn't leak. Um, breakfast. Breakfast is uh, Quaker Oats with golden syrup and uh, Quaker Oats with apple and blueberry. And I'm just uh, having a little kind of mix up. Here's the uh, hot water that I boiled before I went to bed last night. So uh, that's all good. And that is a very quick, beautiful breakfast. Put a little bit of extra Demerara sugar in here. And uh, all I've got left to do now is make myself a brew. Nothing to pack up really, just collapse the rooftop tent, hook the trailer up, I haven't got any kit out. The only thing I've got to do really is uh, put my boots on. <laughs> and uh, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed uh, coming along and uh, enduring the trials of uh, weather testing the rooftop tent. As always, YouTube, any comments? Love to hear them. Back soon.